All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Hetland and Gretchen Kurtzman here with For the Ride and the Rodeo Roundup. Recap of round number six at the 2012 Ringler National Finals Rodeo. Fantastic night once again. You know, it had its thrills and spills tonight, and literally the spills when we're talking about the women's barrel racing. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, but let's start at the top. Let's, let's start at the top it. of the events. So. You know, can you believe the bareback riding? Win Ratliff, a brand new rookie to the NFR, scored 83 and a half points tonight and gets his first gold buckle and his first walk across the South Point stage. You know, we started off with a rookie winning in the bareback and we ended up with a rookie winning in the bull riding, but we'll get to that a little later. Yes. The next thing we want to talk about is steer wrestling. Now, we need to talk about splitting. Okay, so when we talk about splitting, it means that if you tie first and second place, actually splits that money and they divide it in two. And we've had that a couple different instances. So lead off with steer wrestling. You know, steer wrestling, two great runs, Gabe Ledoux and Les Shepperson. They split the go round win, like you said, which means it pays one and two money and they just split it right down the middle. So a huge payday for those guys. And it's really funny with the steer wrestling, a huge story because Tell me about it. Gabe and Les, they had the steers in the first in the second round, I believe they said. And what happened is they just swapped steers and they ended up both winning. So it was fantastic. Well, they must have given each other some really good pointers. Exactly. Yeah. They knew exactly what those steers <laughs> were going to run like. So, hey, if I can tell you about your steer, you tell me about mine and we'll both go to the pay window. That's right. And they said that it's a it was a great pin of really good steers from Texas. And it's, a, it's the Texas pin tonight, and the guys love those steers. So. Well, it's going to get crowded over at South Point tonight on the stage as yes, all these different is. people are coming on. <laughs> so then we're looking at team roping, which we always bring a header and healer up on stage. Of course. Um, you know, amazing. I had uh, Colby Lovell and Russell Cardoza won the team roping here tonight. Yep. Yeah, what a great run it was. I mean, the runs each night are just getting faster and faster, and those ropers are kind of getting the jitters out and figuring out how the Thomas and Mac work once again. You know what I've noticed is the energy level and adrenaline in the media room is just turned up hot now. Oh, you the know journalists it. are coming in from all over, and you can just feel like we're getting ready to go into round seven, exactly. eight, nine, ten is coming on up. So then we turn over to the Saddle Bronc. We had another split. Another split, and a very, very good friend of mine. Wade Sundell is one of the guys that splits it, along with Taos Muncie. Taos won round one, and Wade is a second go-round winner as well. So they they told me that they were going to Indian leg wrestle to see who gets to buckle at <laughs> South Point tonight. So, <laughs> Well, you know, they print one buckle, assuming that one person is going to end up winning, but they do present to two, and so they flip a coin, and one of them walks off stage with a bottle of Pinnacle and whiskey, and the other walks off with the gold buckle. Well, I think Wade will take the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll find about that. So that moves us right into the tie down roping split. One again. and two again. It was a busy <gasps> night down here. It was. Yeah. It was double the interviews for everything. So Clint Robinson and Ryan Jarrett ended up tying in the tie down calf roping. That was a tongue twister. It was. Say that <laughs> 10 times fast. Tying in the tie down <laughs> team roping. Not team roping, calf roping. Ah, see, it see? is a tongue twister with that one. So we got to talk about Carly Pierce. Oh, uh, what a fantastic Holy run. Holy smokes, comes out with a 1351 to win the round. But yeah. that's when the spills started happening because before she ran, Sherry Servey went down on her horse. That's something that you you never see out there and it was a scare for everybody else and they even said it in the arena you know she didn't really much care about herself she just wanted to make sure that her horse was all right and you know she said that she said a really quick prayer before she went out and competed and then she just had to really regroup now carly's a unique story because she came out in oh, round yeah. one and tips three barrels definitely this veteran cowgirl this is her second nfr comes out tips three barrels but she really is showing the competitors and especially the young audience out there hey if something doesn't go your way regroup because you're going to come back and here she is in the winner's circle tonight you know and it's great she holds the arena record right here at the nfr inside the thomas and mac too and a unique story that we found out when she made that world record run 13.46 13.46 and she was 13.51 today guess what she was wearing the exact same hat yes, as that record Yes, she did tell run. you, the black hat with the pink sparkles. Yes. So, go Carly. That's right. Okay, so bull riding. Boy, there was a nasty accident at the Buck and Shoots. Ooh. There sure was, you know, but another rookie, another first-timer getting his first buckle wins the bull riding, Bo Schroeder. 
Fantastic ride, 89 big points. Yeah, wow, those rookies. So that means that we talk about Mary Walker. Oh. Now, we haven't told anyone about the Top Gun Award, but the Top Gun Award means that whoever comes into the finals and wins the most money here at the finals is going to drive away in a brand new Ram truck. Brand new 2013. I told Mary if she didn't have room for it, I'd take it home with me. But. Well, yesterday I was visiting with Mary and she was talking about how they put $14,000 into her vehicle over this past year, just trying to keep it up and going and maintenance on it. And oh my goodness. So Mary Walker's got $76,856.97 won here. That's that's crazy. Oh, I wonder what you Christmas know? is going to be like at it, that house. You ain't lying. And we talk about money. Casey Field today, all he needed was to pick up any placement in the go round to top that $1 million mark and he did that tonight. Congratulations to all the round six winners. Fantastic night, I, I look forward to round seven, round eight, round nine, and the final round, but one title has already been decided. After last night, after round five, Trevor Brazil claims is 10 Claim, all around number title. 10 for number all 10. around cowboy title oh, yeah he is incredible so many many more stories to come this nfr is a nfr of rookie proportions that is true well said yes. this is gretchen kirchman and jason hetland with for the ride.com and the rodeo roundup